Welcome to our video on the 8 Warning Signs of High Blood Sugar. In this video, we'll help you recognize high blood sugar symptoms and share tips on how to prevent it. High blood sugar is a hazardous condition affecting millions of people worldwide, and we're here to shed some light on it. High blood sugar can lead to fatigue, dizziness, blurred vision, and headaches, all of which make daily life a real struggle. And the long-term health risks, like nerve damage and kidney disease, are even more concerning. High blood sugar occurs when your body doesn't produce enough insulin or your cells become resistant to it. This causes glucose to build up in your bloodstream, rather than being used by cells for energy. Recent research has shown that even people with normal blood glucose levels might have prediabetes, a condition that increases the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Recognizing early warning signs is crucial for preventing full-blown diabetes later on, but before we dive in, can you do us a favor? Like this video, ring the bell for future notifications, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to help us reach more people. Now, let's talk about high blood sugar. The American Diabetes Association defines hyperglycemia as having a blood sugar level of 126 mg per deciliter or more, either before or after a meal, or having a blood glucose level of 200 mg per deciliter or more two hours after a meal. If your blood sugar level is between 100 and 125, that means you're pre-diabetic. Your genes and environment can both increase your risk of developing high blood sugar. The silver lining? You have the power to lower your risk of diabetes. Start by identifying your risk factors, such as high blood pressure, being overweight, high bad cholesterol levels, gestational diabetes, or a family history of diabetes. Before we dive into the eight warning signs of high blood sugar, keep in mind, if you experience any of these symptoms, see your doctor for a checkup. And remember folks, humor may be the best medicine, but it's not a substitute for professional advice. So, without further ado, let's start the countdown of the eight warning signs of high blood sugar, complete with a sprinkle of wit and a dash of research. Number eight, frequent urination. Your body is quite the clever system, and it can often sense when your blood sugar is too high. One way it tries to combat this is by making you feel thirsty, encouraging you to drink more water. But why, you ask? Well, your body wants you to visit the bathroom more often because that's its way of getting rid of excess blood sugar. Your kidneys kick into high gear, working harder to clear out all that sugar from your blood. However, if they can't keep up, the sugar is eliminated through your urine instead. A study published in the American Journal of Physiology, Renal Physiology found that high blood sugar levels lead to increased water intake and urine output. This is due to the body's attempt to maintain glucose balance and prevent dehydration. Another study in the journal Diabetes Care found that increased thirst and urination were among the most common early symptoms of type 1 diabetes in children. So, on an average day, most folks hit the restroom four to seven times. But if you find yourself making frequent pit stops, it could be your body's attempt to flush out extra sugar in your blood. If you're constantly thirsty and feel dehydrated despite guzzling water, it might be time to contact your doctor and get tested for diabetes. Remember, it's always better to be safe than sorry. Number seven, excessive hunger and fatigue. You might be tempted to think glucose is the bad guy given all the fuss about high blood sugar, but hold on a minute. Glucose is actually the primary source of energy for the cells in our muscles. It's essential for keeping us up and running. The problem arises when our bodies become insulin resistant or stop responding to insulin properly. This means our cells can't efficiently use the glucose they need for energy. Talk about a catch-22. This can leave you feeling tired and hungry as your muscles struggle to get the fuel they need. Now, here's the real kicker. Consuming too many simple carbs, the not-so-great ones, could make you crave even more carbs. It's like a never-ending cycle. The Mayo Clinic points out that if you're overeating but still losing weight, it could be a sign that your blood sugar is too high. When your body can't effectively burn blood sugar, it may switch to Plan B, burning its own muscle and fat. As you can imagine, this isn't great for muscle strength. So if you find yourself constantly tired and hungry, it might be time to consider that these could be early signs of diabetes. Number six, slow healing. Ever noticed that when your glucose levels have been high for some time, your cuts, scrapes, and bruises seem to take forever to heal? Well, there's a reason for that. Research has shown that high glucose levels can impair blood flow to your extremities and cause nerve damage. This slowdown in circulation makes your skin's healing process feel like it's stuck in slow motion. But wait, there's more. Sustained high blood sugar can also weaken your immune system, making it harder for your body to fight off infections. It's like kryptonite for your body's defense system. Those seemingly insignificant cuts or sores between your fingers or toes are suddenly more prone to infection. So, be sure to wash your hands often 
and keep an eye out for any cuts, sores, blisters, ingrown nails, or swelling. If you spot any irritation or damage to your skin, monitor it closely and seek treatment right away if it becomes infected. After all, it's better to be safe than sorry when it comes to your health. Number 5. Irritability We all know that person who's always on edge, irritable, and moody, the one who makes everyone walk on eggshells. But what if those mood swings aren't just a personality quirk, but instead a warning sign of high blood sugar? It's a possibility worth considering. Research has shown that blood sugar levels have a direct impact on our mood. A study published in Diabetes Care discovered that individuals with diabetes are more prone to mood fluctuations when their blood sugar levels are poorly controlled. It's like a not-so-fun emotional roller coaster, fueled by glucose highs and lows. But how does this happen? Well, when blood sugar levels are constantly changing, it affects the brain's ability to regulate emotions, leading to irritability and moodiness. It's like trying to keep a steady hand while riding a bucking bronco. It's just not easy. So, if you find yourself having wild mood swings that leave you and everyone around you feeling frazzled, it might be time to investigate what's going on with your blood sugar levels. Don't be that grumpy person nobody wants to be around. Take control of your glucose and your mood. As always, consult with your healthcare professional if you're experiencing significant changes in your mood. They can help determine if high blood sugar is the culprit and work with you to create a plan for better glucose management. After all, we all want to be our best selves, physically, emotionally, and socially. Number four, trouble concentrating. Ever had one of those days when your brain feels like it's swimming through a thick fog and no amount of coffee seems to help? Well, it turns out that high blood sugar might be to blame for those hazy, unfocused moments. Research has shown that elevated blood sugar levels can negatively affect cognitive function. A study published in Psychosomatic Medicine found that people with diabetes experienced greater difficulty with concentration and memory when their blood sugar levels were poorly controlled. So, how does this happen? High blood sugar levels can cause inflammation and damage to blood vessels in the brain, impairing its ability to function properly. Imagine trying to navigate through a maze with a faulty compass. That's what it's like for your brain when blood sugar levels are out of whack. If you're finding it harder than usual to concentrate or stay on task, it might be time to check in with your blood sugar levels. Remember, the brain is our most powerful tool, and keeping it sharp and focused is essential for our overall well-being. Don't let high blood sugar cloud your mind. Speak with your healthcare professional if you're experiencing difficulties with concentration and focus. They can help you determine if high blood sugar is the cause and guide you toward effective glucose management strategies. So, let's clear the fog and reclaim our mental clarity. Number 3. Body Pain, Headaches, and Blurred Vision Alright folks, let's talk about diabetic neuropathy, a sneaky type of nerve damage that affects half of the people with diabetes. Imagine that, 50%. So what causes this nerve havoc? You guessed it, long-term high blood sugar levels. It's like an uninvited guest that overstays its welcome and causes trouble after years of hyperglycemia. According to a study in the journal Diabetes Care, diabetic neuropathy is indeed common, affecting around 50% of people with diabetes over time. Diabetic neuropathy can make you feel pain, tingling, or numbness in your legs or feet. But surprise, it's a multitasker and can also cause issues with your digestive system and damage your heart and blood vessels. What a party pooper, right? The tricky part is that these symptoms can creep up slowly, making them easy to overlook. Now let's talk about headaches. They might be your brain's way of saying, hey, you're dehydrated. And guess what? Dehydration could be your body's way of hinting that there's too much sugar in your blood. It's like a chain of whispers. A study in the Journal of Headache and Pain found that people with diabetes tend to have more headaches than those without. This could be linked to fluctuations in blood sugar levels and dehydration. When you're dehydrated, your fluid levels can change, causing your eyes to swell and distort. That's when blurry vision comes to play. And of course, blurry vision can make your headache even worse. It's a vicious cycle. If you're plagued by headaches all the time, have a chat with your doctor. Even if high blood sugar isn't the culprit, it could still signal another issue with your health. Remember, always keep an eye on yourself, especially if you're at risk. In some cases, diabetic neuropathy can cause infections so severe that limbs have to be amputated. So, if you've been experiencing pain, tingling, or numbness in your legs or feet recently, make an appointment with your doctor, ASAP. Number 2. Yeast Infections Alright folks, let's dive into the world of yeast infections and high blood sugar. Think of it like a science experiment gone wrong. You see, yeast is a tiny organism that loves sugar. And when your blood sugar levels are high, it's like inviting them to an all-you-can-eat buffet, where they party it up and multiply. This can result in yeast infections, 
particularly in those warm, moist areas of your body where they love to hang out. Now let me drop some science on you. A study published in the prestigious medical journal, The Lancet, discovered that women with diabetes are more prone to yeast infections than women without diabetes. Imagine that. It's like having a VIP pass to the unwanted yeast party. So if you've noticed an uptick in yeast infections, it might be time to have a chat with your doctor. It's important to rule out high blood sugar as the mastermind behind these unwelcome guests. With the right treatment and management, you can help keep those pesky yeast infections at bay and maintain a healthy, balanced body. In the end, knowledge is power, and understanding the link between high blood sugar and yeast infections can help you take control of your health. So remember to stay vigilant and listen to what your body is telling you. And as always, consult with your doctor if you have any concerns. Number 1. Dark Patches on Skin Alright, let's talk about a skin condition that might surprise you. It's called acanthosis nigricans, and it's often linked to high blood sugar levels. Picture this, dark, velvety patches appearing on your skin like an unwelcome fashion statement. You might spot them on your neck, armpits, elbows, knees, or even your knuckles. It's like your body's way of saying, hey, something's not quite right here. Now, here's a fascinating fact. A study published in the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology found a strong association between acanthosis nigricans and insulin resistance, which can lead to high blood sugar levels. So, if you start noticing these funky patches on your skin, it's time to give your doctor a call. They'll help you figure out if high blood sugar is the mastermind behind these skin changes and guide you on how to manage your glucose levels more effectively. Always remember, your body is a pretty amazing machine and it's trying to communicate with you through these warning signs. Listen to it and reach out to your healthcare professional if you experience any of these symptoms. Together, you can tackle high blood sugar and get back to feeling your best. Stay informed and stay healthy, my friends. And there you have it. We've explored the various warning signs of high blood sugar that you should keep an eye out for. Remember, early detection and intervention can make a huge difference in managing blood sugar levels and preventing complications. If you've noticed any of these symptoms, don't hesitate to consult your doctor. They can help you determine if high blood sugar is the cause and guide you towards effective management strategies. With the right care and lifestyle adjustments, you can take control of your health and live a full, vibrant life. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope you found it informative. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the super thanks button to show your support. Also, be sure to share this video on social media to help others stay informed about high blood sugar warning signs. Here's to your health and well-being. Take care and stay tuned for more helpful videos.